Hey there, how's it going? I th I'm here in the Xfinity Cars open setup at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I, if, if you pay attention to my channel, you might notice that all of a sudden I don't have any videos up for, well, by the time this comes up, probably close to a week. And yeah, I just decided I had I tried the Arca race at Lanier a few times, went badly. I tried to do a Pocono race in the trucks last week, went badly. And I was so desperately trying to get a video out. And I was having no fun with it. I was getting frustrated. And I finally had this epiphany. It's like, I don't need to pump out a video every day. I don't need to race all these series every week if I'm not feeling it. And I just decided I was going to take a week off, or however long until I felt like racing again. And I'm a little out of practice. As you can see here, I'm going to get some X's in practice, because why not? But who cares about that, you know? Who cares about your safety rating? I was all worried about my eye reading. I had gotten it up to an 1800, and it is just free falling since then. Who cares about that? In fact, now that I've fallen, I'm. Can I get a mic check? In a race now without six to well, seven thousand I rating guys. Thank you. Uh, I don't even know why I bothered going out for that little session, but even though it's only been. A few days since I've done this. It feels like I'm a little out of practice. What do we got for a field down. here? Uh, uh, it's to the right on the right rear spring. Make it looser. Let's make it tighter. So it ranges from 1,400 to 1,100. Pretty pretty tight group of guys that I've gotten in. Um, over 100 people signed up for this time slot, so I'm assuming it's split into three, no, probably four races of 26 each, roughly. You know what I mean. Um, so, we will see. Since I'm not in a race with the top guys, I will try to put in a lap, see where I can get. Hopefully I don't do what I did in practice there. This is Charlotte. I'm thinking the only time I've raced Charlotte, <clears throat> this is a free track, it was probably the rookie street stocks. But I was in the street stocks for such a small amount of time that I don't really remember it at all. This track is kind of bumpy and just even though it seems like a cookie cutterish track you know they all have their differences and it I really don't know the best way around or if I'm going to be any good at all P2 that lap time was 31.0 Yeah. Looks like we're going to get the potential for a lot better of a run lap second time around. Going a little red there, but it's getting back into the green. Greenish red. About half a second faster. P3, you're now <clears throat> 0.4 off the pace. 0.4 off the pace. Yikes. Oh wow, the pole. Pole is a 30.077 right now. Which is <laughs> making the rest of us look super slow. But yeah, it's good to be back, I guess. Hopefully this video actually makes it out. Um, I'll pause and meet you back for the grid. All right, P3 out of the few people 
I decided to put in a lap. Uh, a little over half, it looks like. If you deleted this Adam Allen off of here, I would my lap would look pretty dang good. Just off of pole position. Quite a ways ahead of some of these people. This guy was just light years ahead of anyone. But that's okay. One hot lap is not equivalent to a 90 lap race. So, we have a 90 lap, I can talk, a 90 lap race to do here. I've been having nothing but bad luck with these open races with the longer lap counts and having to pit and just having to keep it clean. I don't know if it's my focus or what. It just takes one little mistake sometimes in these things to really throw your race. But, uh, yeah. I kind of just stopped. I was just like, I'm just taking a break. I was watching other people's videos still, so it's not like it was completely out of the loop, but... Um, started playing some Final Fantasy XII, of all things. Haven't played that game in ages. Kind of got sucked back into that. Been a while. Um, just doing some other things. And it's uh, Sunday afternoon right now. Didn't have much going on, and you know what? I kind of had the itch to do a race. And that's what it should be, not like, I have to get a race in. Why am I doing that to myself? I'm oh, glad you're blinking bad, dude. Like, oh, yeah, I'm the number seven here. I didn't really even acknowledge that, so keep that in mind. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to do it, and I was like, kind of felt like doing a longer race. Trucks are on a dirt track this week. I tried a little bit of that before my break, too. Didn't actually get into the race. I went to a practice session, and I was like, no. <laughs> I could have maybe eventually figured it out, but it just felt so wrong. The truck isn't meant for the dirt. And I just didn't find it fun. Car number two in the inside lane. So I decided Xfinity if I want to do a longer race. Open setup. We need to catch up to car number two. So yeah. I didn't pay any attention to how many tire sets that guy said I was gonna have. Does it say on here somewhere? I never know. To the sure. inside you go, Seven. Sorry, I totally spaced that one off. Thanks. Oh, it's okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm the Seven. I'm driving on the outside like an idiot. It's a good thing he was looking out for me. Hopefully that's my one screw up this race. That would be a plus. Eleven, you're blinking all over the place, man. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, Justin, get ready. Green, green, green. Got the old uh, loose cold tires, don't want to spin out right away. Wow, I can't believe I was pacing on the wrong line. That's okay, though. I mean, not okay, but worse things have happened. Fourteen, had a moment there. <laughs> This is a long race. I'm not going to force anything. Still there. Uh, 14, I think you're driving your car way too hard. Sorry, Six. Thank right. you. Thank you. Why would you come on the track like that, you jackass? Well, exciting start to the race. I didn't realize you were going to check up like that. You've just done a 31.7. The guy ahead has just done a 31.7. Okay, Justin, our fuel window opens on lap 30. It'll close on lap 77.
14 is, uh, I don't know. I kind of wish I was ahead of these two. Not because I want to be in second place necessarily, just because. Slow car helped me out, but I feel bad for the other guy. He had to just completely back out of it. Go right ahead, Mark. Whoa. Thank you. That corner entry felt weird, and I did it all wrong. All right, let's just settle in. I don't need to, like, charge to the front, nor do I have the ability to probably, but... I don't know what tires are going to be like in this race. Sounds like fuel-wise, we got a long ways to go. Buddy, I didn't mean to do that. I'm done the That's your quickest lap in this session. Overall, I I like the feel of the car. I mean, we're only on lap six, so. Your water temperature looks quite high. I've learned to ignore that. I mean, I shouldn't, but I've come to understand that I think crew chief maybe that's a setting I can set to not bug me about it till a certain threshold I don't know the 14 is uh, settled in and got it going which is good Unfortunately, I didn't watch anyone do this race this week. I think maybe Nick did it, but I don't think I watched it. Um, I, that's always helpful for me to see how other people handle it, like what lines they're running, what strategies they're running. Just et cetera, et cetera. be up that high it's kind of where it went so I just kept it there but I don't know that's the thing I don't know I mean I watched the guy ahead of me run high but we're all like lower I rated people so I don't know if entering high and cutting down like that is a good idea I really don't know if you tired of hearing me say I don't know then I apologize So yeah, Lanier at Arca, or Arca at Lanier, I said that backwards, but you know what I meant. I don't know, I loved that combo. I was like, this is fun, but I just had no luck. And I think I ran it four times. Um, I should have, like, if I had video editing skills, I should have, like, posted together, like, a... Put out a video of, like, a clip session, you know, like, all the crap that went wrong for me. One of them was me. I was in second place, doing pretty well. Because I every one of them races, I qualified top five. I mean, I wasn't terrible with that combo. But, uh... The time I was running second, you know, at least halfway through the race, eventually I just I self-spun. No, no reason for it. And it was just so frustrating. He's in the wall in front of me. He's got. Full course yellow. Watch out. Nothing, 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 nothing. I wish I would have paid attention to how many tire sets there are. My oh, bad. Closed. Race cars out. Line up single file. He decorated into me and fucking give me an eight, eight X. I didn't even hit me on my screen. That's bullshit. Eleven point nine gallons. Well, we know we can't make it from f fuel, but I don't know. Tires is a thing that we should be doing. Yeah, I need to get my car to turn. Can we catch up, please? My bad. I was messing with some in car stuff. My bad. Safety car is out. Pits are now open. Um, I'm gonna play follow the leader. Adding more ups that loosens it up, right? I know from practice that this long. 
of a run. I'm probably at like 90, 90%. I think it's negative is loose. Ratty, ratty, daddy, lefty, lefty. Well, we're gonna have people. It looks like people behind are coming in. I'm a rat rear. Track position. It's all good, I just saw him spinning across the track. I okay, jumped off the road, probably too hard for that. All clear for engine temperatures. All right. Pay attention to what line I should restart in. It's pretty much the same spot, right? I'm in third. Lucky dog should be coming around the high side any minute. Oop. So far, I'm uh, okay with how this has gone. Long ways to go yet. Plenty of time to screw it up. But I just needed to take a break and recharge a little bit. And going forward... I don't know why I got it in my head to try to put out a video every day, but I I think that was folly. I don't know. If I don't feel like uh, racing, I'm just not going to. Four now. This oh, isn't? Yeah, about four. I mean, four. My bad. You guys know. You can see this isn't a big channel. And yeah, that is a way to grow a channel, I know, but I mean, realistically... I'm just doing this. I'm supposed to be just doing this for myself and to have fun. And anyone who watches, that's cool. And I like talking to them in the comments and all that. But So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to promise anything going forward. Safety cars out. Bits I'll fun. still try to put out at least three or four a week because that's still fun. And maybe I'll still have times where I'm putting them out enough where the equals one a week. But it's only because I want to. I might get rid of a few series. 358 mods is probably on the cho chopping block because even though I've gotten two wins in there, it's gotten to the point now where it's I'd rather just run the big blocks and I've got the limited late models that I'm enjoying. And, you know, that's kind of, say, take that place. Dirt street stocks, I don't know. Depends on the track and if I'm feeling it. But Wow, these are some, uh, this is some long pacing. Saving fuel. Can I make it on till the end? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. I'm gonna try to get get a drink of water here. Tell me to let you buy a seventeen. Sorry about that. Safety cars out. It's unclosed. It'll be interesting to see how the tires play here. Some people went in. Are we gonna have chargers coming up through the field? Is this going to even matter? Should I have stopped? I do not know. 11.5 gallons. All right, Justin, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. And no one should have to yell at me about which side I'm at. <clears throat> yeah, if you noticed, I responded to that guy. I do have a push to talk mapped finally I used it for the first time in Gavin's uh, subscriber race over a week ago now already god this is some slow pacing First gear is a good gear to start in. I don't know. It's probably the correct gear, but there's more potential to be screwed up. And I honestly don't... I'm not looking to get a jump and immediately gain a position or anything like that. So I'm just going to go with this. Although I really should probably get used to doing things the proper way. Another thing I didn't do is practice a green flag stop. That's typical for me. I don't know why I keep hitting that button. It's going to not change much, nor does it matter. I'm going to have to pit at some point. This guy waited till like, after green last time. Green flag, we're racing. 
I screwed that up so bad. I kept drifting up, and then I missed the shift. Still there. Clear high. Yeah. Got a car high. Just keep it under Still control. There. I don't care if I lose the spot. Hold your line. Clear I deserve to lose it because that start was embarrassingly bad. Got a little worried that he was going to just come straight across. Kind of got to pay attention to who's on tires and who's not. Nobody in my relative right now has pitted. I love that feature of race labs, too. It won't tell you what they did in the pits, but you can just assume if they pitted, they took tires. Or let you know, anyway. Give you an idea. Pit. Alright, I lost the spot to the 21. Long ways to go yet, though. The 2 is just fast. Whether he can keep it going for a whole run, we'll see, but... Nobody else in this lobby seems to have the speed for him. We will see. Drifting it up high. Put too much wheel into it, probably. So you got one more day of work till my four day weekend. I get a four day weekend every week, except if I pick up OT, which I did do last week. Or this week, I should this You know that was in the middle of those days too, which makes it a little harder for me to get more races in. Oh, I can feel it pushing there. I might I might have burned up my stuff too much. And if that's the case. Who knows when I'm going to get a chance to uh, rectify that with new tires. The people who pit... It's one of the disadvantages of being as far up as I was. It's like, if I was in two-thirds of the way through the field and everyone came in, I'd be like, yeah, let come in. But, you know, the two people in front of me didn't come in. I'm like, well, I'll stay out too. And then l this didn't happen, but literally everyone else could come in and you'd be like, well, we're all screwed. And that's something I need more experience with, too. I need to uh, that lap time was get more experience with strategy runs. and I need more practice with pitting and making adjustments, too. That's something I literally don't do except for brake bias, which I also rarely do. Although, to be fair, I don't know if I've touched the brakes once in this race. Okay, that's yeah, starting to... Tighten up on me. Probably burning the right front off the way I'm driving it. Typically, that's not a problem I have too much compared to others. Just don't get in the gas until it's ready to go, you know? Okay, Justin. Your water temperature looks quite high. Uh, I look down at the gauge, and then you see me just swerve to the left a little bit. That's something I need to work on, too. I always marvel at how people can do all this stuff and keep driving in a relatively good line. Fucking retard. That was at 31.6. Apologize for the language. I'm trying not to say swear words myself on the channel anymore. Can't guarantee you none will ever come out. But I also cannot vouch for the voice chat. I could turn it off, but I kind of want to know if people are communicating with me. Who knows if I would have figured out to get in the bottom line had I had that turned off. And then I would have been really stupid. <clears throat> the two is just checked out. And I'm getting caught from behind. That wall scares me sometimes. Your last lap time was at 31.9.
outside. You're clear outside. Car high. I was clear outside, but I had to get out of it. Oh god. Barely clear high, and I'm just swerving up. Got a rainbow car coming through the field behind. I need to get away. The number 24. I was checking to see if he was on new tires, but. Gap two, Andrews in front is now 1.2 seconds. Just, just plowing like a dump truck right now. Is that a saying? Pushing like a dump truck? Does a dump truck have anything to do with anything? Twenty-one was back in the picture because I let off there for the twenty-four. Well, I'd say this: if a caution comes out again, I am definitely coming in, no matter what else anyone does. I feel like at that point, it would be the smart thing to do. I thought the 24 would drive away with me. Yeah, drive away with me. Drive away from me after I let him by, but doesn't seem to be the case. Full course yellow, watch out. Safety cars out, bits are closed. Race cars out, line up single file behind car number 24. All right. I don't think we can make it to the end on fuel from here. Temperatures are now back to normal. Come on, get up there, buddy. Go, oh, guys. Can we catch the field? This car turn for it. Pits are open. I guess there was no worry, but God, it just annoys me. Just cut catch. There's no reason. All right, I've been known to screw it up. Speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Gotta remember I qualified third, so I'm a long ways up there. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Lucky dog coming high. Not exactly smooth, but I went in third, came out third. I don't know if anyone stayed out, but probably, probably people who pit the first time, maybe. But let's check the tire wear. 85, 88. I'm sure some people stayed out. Looks like a few. Yeah, so unless I save two gallons somehow, which I'm not even going to pretend to have the ability to even try to think about doing that while racing. <clears throat> Although maybe I'll just save it by being slow. Who knows? Safety car is out. Pits are now open. I mean, we're Safe pacing. Car. Well, that car's coming in. Four. Maybe that was a lapper and they had to wait. So yeah, I hope everyone's having a good time with their iRacing experiences, or maybe they 
maybe you just watch and don't race yourself. That's how I started out. That's what got me wanting to do it. I didn't even know this sim racing was a thing till early 2020. I think sim racing did kind of have a surge of popularity due to COVID and everyone being at home and looking for things to do. So, uh, yeah, I started, I started, uh, kind of my first experience with sim racing was I found, <clears throat> Most people have probably heard of Jimmy Broadbent, his channel, and I found Super GT, Steve Alvarez Brown. He doesn't really do eye racing, but he does sim racing, you know, he does. And they both do, like, real life racing, too, so that's cool. Then I found a guy, and I'm not going to name him because I don't really enjoy his stuff anymore, but he did get me. He is the reason I discovered that this NASCAR type stuff was a thing in eye racing. At first, I kind of laughed it off, and I'm like, oh, wow, really? That's kind of a joke, right? And then I started watching, you know, and, like, it's simulating, you know, stuff like driving yourself around in these pace laps and everything, and just, and I started really thinking, wow, this is cool. Except that nothing, I'm not going to name and shame the guy. He's He's got a completely different personality than I like to watch, and it's just different. But, uh, eventually I found Nick's channel, and then, through him, uh, others, and you know, I just watch him and watch him, and I'm just like, wow, this is great stuff. Then I found a uh, Logitech G923 wheel and pedal set at Best Buy, and I was like, huh, I wonder if this is like a legit one you can use. I mean, I mean, I knew it wasn't gonna be the top of the line, but. I you know, looked it up and I said, yeah, this is one of the recommended entry levels. Thrustmaster also has their own versions, but and this. But even then, I bought it in, that in April of 2021, and I didn't really get. You know, I was in the middle of looking for a new place to live and moving and all this crap and where I did live at the time. It my setup of the computer it not would not have worked for this sim racing. It, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But I did set it up, and I did some Euro Truck Simulator 2 with it, and that was fun, you know, stuff like that. But I was like, wow, this is an expensive toy just to play Euro Truck Simulator. So, yeah, I finally started the iRacing. I've been pretty hooked on it. All right, time to concentrate. This time I'm on the outside. And the three did not pit, so... So I anticipate him not lasting in the lead very long, especially with how fast the two's been all race long. Cold new tires, haven't had that since lap one. Okay, just in. The next car is Alan. I reckon. Full course yellow, watch out. Right. I'm gonna send blue up, I think. This car is out. Line up single file behind car number four. All right, some more pacing. Pits are closed. Yeah, for these long races, I'm gonna start probably putting the chapters. I did it one time. <clears throat> Oh, the two lost a spot. Didn't have a chance to ever get up to full speed. Um, I'll start putting chapters in for the cautions just because I would imagine there's people out there who would like... I don't ever do that when I watch other people. In fact, I see the cautions as like a spoiler. So I try not to ever look at the chapters or the little bar where you can see the segments. Sometimes I accidentally do them like, oh, look, caution's coming up. It's kind of like the video length is a spoiler too. It's like sometimes it'll be like... Oh, there's 40 laps left, 30 second laps, but there's only 12 minutes left in the video. Oh, something's going to happen, you know. <laughs> but you know what? It's it is what it is. Point is, I'll put them there. People who want to use it, turn four. you won't hurt my feelings if you're like, let's skip back to green, because obviously I'm not talking about anything that interesting. I don't know if like bogging it around in fourth saves fuel at all. I don't know how they do their calculations. Because, yeah, I guess it could get to a point where if there's enough cautions, you wouldn't have to pit again. But would you want to? I don't know. One point one gallons. 
according to this, I just saved three tenths of a gallon. I, I don't believe it. Lucky but dog up high. Lucky dog coming up high. Like going down here and going the shortest way around the track. Is that a legit way to save fuel? Probably. I mean, it just makes sense, right? One point, one Is the pace car in turn three yet? No. It's a broken. We are entering turn three now. Yeah, I gotta get my my safety rating is also tanked down to a 2.1. I don't know if this is like real life. No, like, we're actually in four. Like keeping it in fourth here, you'd be chugging the engine. I don't know. You can damage the engine. I don't think it's that realistic, but I could be totally wrong. One point two gallons. Yeah, I've, I've unsaved. The pit window is now open. Are we at one to green? No, we're, this it's is so the two to green. Okay, we still got to go around two more times at this speed. I don't know if revving the engine is a good way to save fuel. Nobody's probably thinking about it. I'm only, it's only like kind of a thing for me. I'm just like. <clears throat> Zero point nine gallons. I'm not going to really trust that number until we've been up to speed for a little bit again. Yeah, hopefully we can get another run in, because I'm actually having fun with this. Not just because I'm doing relatively well, it's just I the urge to hit, or the urge to race hit, and I'm like, let's race. It's a closed. And that's the way I want it to be. Part of me wants to give the Arco one more try, but... I'm getting pretty tired. I don't think I want to do another race today. Tomorrow I got to work. Then I got to immediately drive two hours, pick up my daughter, drive two hours back. By then, the new season will probably have ticked over, and even if it hasn't, I'm going to be okay, so Justin, tired. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Zero point six gallons. My guess is if we were to get another caution, we'd probably be good on fuel. And right now... We don't have hardly any green laps on these tires, so I guess it would depend on when the caution fell as to whether... That's another problem with being up here. You could be a sitting duck. You decide to stay out. Everyone else comes in, and they got tires on you. You come in, they stay out, and you got to go through the whole field and can't get back in time. So, yeah, like I said, it would depend on when the caution fell and all that good stuff. I'm going to hit this button one more time just to annoy everyone. Zero. Rainbow car behind me. The number two is beside me. I imagine he's itching to get back through these guys, although we're not even halfway yet. These cautions are making this race take a little longer. Said so the three is on older tires than everyone else in this area, so. <coughs> Excuse me, I expect him not to last long up here. If we get a green run. Green, 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 let's go. Tires are still gonna be cold because I don't even know. Did we even make it to the back straight? I don't think we did.
threes in the wall look like. I can hear the 18 pedaling it down there. Kind of wanted to, I mean, if he gets a run on me again, then he can have it. But I didn't really know. It was just due to my tendency to start bad was the only reason he was up on me. Hopefully the rainbow car doesn't do anything too rash behind me here. Ken, I'll give you the bottom down here, Turner. The three's fighting it harder than I thought he would. Probably because I took it easier than I needed to, Outside. thinking... Thanks, sorry, I was up a little bit. Old tires. All right, no, now, I'm lap down, so I just wanted to let you go. If Rainbow gets to run on me, I'm not going to fight it too hard. P3. Let him by, and he has a moment. But he seems to have gathered it back up, so we'll let him keep on keeping on. I didn't really want to pass in there just to have to let him by again, but I also wasn't going to just come to a stop if he was that slow, so I'm glad he got it going again. But it is something to keep an eye out for. He's going to struggle more and more. <clears throat> yeah, I did not mean to enter in that high and that hot. I actually had a foot hovering on the brake there in case I needed to get myself slowed down more because I do not want to hit the wall. Seems like any time I hit the wall with this at the truck, it pretty much screws the car. Plus, it's not quite like Arca. It's a lot easier to get the 2x from the wall hit. And, you know, it's just realistic to not want to hit the wall with any vehicle. I wish dirt racing was that way on here. I know back when I was involved in dirt racing with my dad, when he raced the <clears throat> IMCA mods, we certainly were never like, oh, yeah, let's run the bang it off the wall strategy to keep it going. It's just like, no. <laughs> oh, got a little loose there. First time I've really felt that other than right at the beginning of a run. But yeah, we definitely would never not want to have that car hit the wall. Plus, with real racing, you can't just hit escape or tow or, you know, get a free new car. You just, you know, it costs money. A lot of money. You've just done a 31.2. Well, those three cars are just faster than me. Um, I'd say Rainbow came up through the field from somewhere. I don't know where. Because he was getting me, you know, anyway. And uh, those other two have just been ahead of me the whole race. But other than that, it seems to be kind of a spot I've settled into. We're over halfway through the race. Still can't make it on fuel, I don't think. Although it's getting close. We've probably run enough laps by now that precaution would mean pitting would get you to the end fuel wise.
clouding up. Oh, I got... Man, my voice is just hoarse. I don't know. It's just something to be said about doing this every day. You get used to talking a lot to yourself. So I'm not that talkative of a person in real life. And my voice is just like, ugh, why are you doing this to me? Okay, Justin. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Whoa. Well, that wasn't good. All that talk about hitting the wall earlier, and then I go and do it. I'm going to say that was pretty minor, and I'm not too worried about damage-wise, but it very nearly set me up. Out of control, that was the more scary thing. Yeah, the twos finally. Slowly but surely, getting back to his rightful spot in the lead. Well, I'll probably show up on the incidents, although... I don't know if I'm going to do incidents. That's another thing. Depends on the race and what I'm feeling like. But I'm not going to hold myself to always have to go through the incidents. Especially, it doesn't seem like much happened out there. Your lap time was 31.8. And on a race like this, there's probably a lot of wall hits. Maybe not, but probably. Especially in the lower splits. And, you know, just a lot more laps for them to accumulate. It would be cool to see. Like, probably everyone can make it. If, if I'm saving enough, you'll probably everyone is. It's probably just the way it goes. At least those who pitted that last time. So I'm not expecting to pull out some, like, stay out and win because I had more fuel than everyone else type of deal. So I'm more interested in if it were to go green from here, how would I stack up? Although that number is getting higher again, so I don't know. It's obviously like, if you did have to come in under green, do you just do like a splash and go? I don't know. But no point in worrying about all that quite yet because we got a long ways to go yet. Well, I've determined that this video will get published. If Even if I were to wreck right now and be out, it's enough content that doesn't feel like a waste. That was this. Is, I probably should have posted the Arca race where I uh, self spun, but that was literally the straw that I just. I was mad at myself, but I was just mad. And everything kind of got tossed. <laughs> the other ones, the wrecks happened so early. Like I said, if, if I would have saved them. Having a cooler head a few days later, I would have tried to like edit out the clips. Maybe have like a "Here Was My Week at Lanier" compilation and all the wrecks I got caught up in. Was God, I thought he was gonna cut me off there. Oh, I hope he doesn't fight it too hard, because unless he just had a bad corner, but. I felt like I was faster than him, but yeah, here he's pulling away from me because I screwed up. That's okay. Reset, refocus. If I get to him again, then we'll see what happens. Yeah, number two is in his customary spot, just miles ahead of everyone again. Oh, 14 had a moment up there. Wow, you can really feel the uh, car drifting around. Ah. Did not want to get into him, but that's what was happening. I don't really want to fight this guy, but I don't want to be held up either. Like, I'm okay with running in fourth. But if I get these big runs, I just kind of want to clear them and go on with my life. That's okay. Uh, 
Ah, yeah, this car just floats all over the place when you're right behind someone. Good racing, guys. I saw him hit the wall and I backed out even more. Car down low. Clear low. Son of a. Car outside. Clear high. You too, bro. I, uh. I need to get so much better. I just lost my focus for a second there. Like, he hit the wall, and I'm like, all right, back it down more, because he might come off hard. I racing, but I really need one more caution to get one more lap back. And, uh... Yeah, I do too. Not to get a lap back. Then I just... God, I just lost damage. my focus and got into the wall. Luckily, hopefully the car isn't too ruined. Could probably get these two guys back. I mean, the other getting loose. Tires are going by the. Uh oh. Hey, hang on. I'm on the oldest tires in the field right now. Uh, I didn't. I didn't pit under the last caution. So the fact that I'm now pulling away from the field behind me and still keeping up, pretty spectacular. Rainbow. Because I think everybody used up their shit. Rainbow just pit. Yeah, well, some people would start buying a little too hard. I'm not trying that hard, but I'm staying behind them. That guy's voice is cracking me up. No offense if you're watching this. I just made a few piss up adjustments, and I'm getting reduced to smoke myself now. I also hit like some like pocket of. I think my tires even dealt with everybody else. Oh, you're a brave guy, and you're good on tires. These but you I just, I just, I just went and got them. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the end on tires. Alright, then I, if you're going to do that, then I want to know what your tire right after the race is over. So, Rainbow. My issue is fuel. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I have 13 laps of fuel. What's up? Oh, that's, that's why you needed a bet. Yeah, I was, kind of, I, I was hoping for a caution, not going to lie. At lap 50. Uh, he's trying to make no, it to the end. Like that more lab, and he did. He's gonna have no toilet. He didn't pit the last time. Yep. I don't know if I can make it to the end, and I did. All right, settle in. So Rainbow Pit, he's probably running faster laps than everyone. Uh, by everybody sort of themselves out back here. They're all taking a while now, so okay. Oh. But, but he needs the caution to not come out for that to pay off. One thing I'm not going to do is if I, uh, I'm not going to fix damage in the pits. I don't think. Part of me wants to pit now and just see what happens. I'll get screwed so bad though, won't I? But if you're gonna do it, you need to do it early enough. The gap to Andrews ahead is increasing. It's now. I do it in front of us. Keep getting on the wall. You've just done a 32.7. You know what? I wish I knew how to do a green flag stop. Car is definitely not liking me right now. I'm definitely getting caught. P3. 
But if everyone can make it, then if I'm the only one who can't, pushing up. If I'm the only one who can't, then I don't think I'm going to get enough time back, right? But I'm definitely not liking how this thing's driving anymore. Good consistency. Keep them coming. I'm below you. I'm coming below you, sir. 0.2 gallons. Carlo. Clear inside. Is he pitting, or did he just back out because I'm so erratic? I don't know. Probably was scared of me. That was uh, 33.0. Coming below you for? Zero point one gallons. Car outside. You're clear outside. I know this isn't the proper way to pit, okay, but. Justin, you're reeling. Steel. Coming Here below you for me. Oh, I lost so much time by coming in there. Watch your speed. You got plenty of fuel. Well, I threw this good finish away, but you know what? I was starting to get worried that I was going to wreck someone. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. How to throw away a race. All right, remember, I'm not taking those optional repairs. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine temperatures. There's a car approaching. Stay behind the white line. Watch out, 25. I'm coming up. About looped it trying to get out of here. I'm so I'm throwing this away so bad. Let them go. They're one lap down on butt tires. So don't fight them. Let them go. I'm pitting. Staying low. Car outside. Clear high. Let's just sling it into the wall because why not? Why'd you break right in front of me? Uh, in front is now 3.7 seconds. I told you I was pitting, staying low. Y'all wanted to choose. No, no, not you, not you, the 17. You're fine. I knew you were pitting. It's fine, you got loads. So, yeah, I. I... Oh, the wrecking, the wrecking, the wrecking. Two. Keep it right, going, because I do not need a yellow. Number three putting this time. Actually, outside. never mind. Next time, we're gonna go next. I got enough.
Coming guard with fresh tires, coming guard with fresh tires. The gap behind is now 1.3. That last lap was at 32.4. We've got a full course yellow. Uh oh, but I'm not going to make it. Uh oh. There they go. Well, uh, I mean, what do I do? Do I pit? No. Nah. I you're screwed myself. I should have just. Well, we ain't gonna make it on the fuel. You better bet. If you're gonna make it on the yellow before you get green, the green open, then you can go. What's your on? Uh, you get the uh, lucky dog. Pace car is out. Line up oh god, I got. Car four. Guys, guys, I'm gonna be going very slow here. I'm trying to conserve some fuel. Burn off your engine as well. Ah, I'm so mad at myself. A. Uh, how do you turn off the engine? I pitted wrong. B, I uh, overshot my stall. You should put it on your steering wheel. And back on again. You're you gotta get, to you gotta get to the page. You gotta get to the to the uh, page car. What are you doing? What are you doing anyway? Okay, I, I gotta go. I'm sputtering. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This guy really thought he was going to make another 13 laps to be sputtering now. Yeah, that's what's happening. I'm out of fuel. I don't get it. All right, I'm good. I'm coming in right now. I went on ice car. Yeah. I'm, I'm coasting in the pit road. Come on, come on, I gotta make it to my pit stall, come on! The leader, Alan, is pitting. I think you're gonna get a penalty for that. Pit lane's closed. Uh, I haven't, so... Yeah, Bonnie, I'm gonna go up down still. Uh, I made it to my pit stall, that's all that matters. What are you doing, Lev? Safety cars out. Pits yeah, are closed. Well, I made it to the bitter end. The rapid lead is on. Maybe. Yeah, I'll still be one lap down. Hopefully, he's gonna be right. There's gonna be a lot of people one lap down. Where's the 18 car? Oh. There are normally quite a few. They believe if there's all those nine guys that uh, uh, got tires, then they'll get the way around. I was at 48% on right front. So, like, we'll get the wave around, but this will be a lap down. Uh, uh, well, you, yeah, you would have made it on tires all the way, no way. No, I already, uh, I took tires before the caution came out. Yeah, that tire, well, you would not, you would have made it, but you would have been, uh, probably 30%. Oh, yeah, you're talking about me, yeah, I would have been probably, roughly around 30%, probably. Oh, well, that's not too bad. So annoyed with myself. That's a big part of these laces, though, is strategy. And I need to practice green flag stops. A. I went way slower than I needed to. Plus, when I got down on the apron there, I kind of was going too fast. And if somebody would have been coming, I would have pushed back up into them. I. <laughs> Yeah, that was adventurous. I don't know where this is going to put me because I'm a... Yeah, I'm a lap down. I'm a lucky dog candidate, so I guess I'm hoping to keep that. And... Um... And a quick caution, yeah. But to know, I was still passing Safety people with that many percent on my right front. So... I, I kept it in 10. We're gonna get the 
tires. I wish it got the old real quick and got back out. Yeah, if I could go back in time, I would just keep going. Just force myself to get it under control. Where are you going? 17, gotta go back. Seventeen, trying to get in here. I don't really care. That's on him if he's up where he's not supposed to be. Well, we probably got eleven cars on the lead left, so that's not too bad. So I got to keep. Uh, uh, I think if I finish right where I'm at, I didn't lose all now that. Now these much. guys all have better tires because I didn't feel it coming in there. I was wondering why. Can you be a little bit quicker? We'll see. We'll see what happens to me. If nothing else, I'm in 12th right now. I don't think I got into it in there. Wow. Yeah, I tried keeping it up there when I was losing it. Twenty is scaring me up there. I don't want to give up a position to this guy behind me, just in case. But I really don't want to insert myself into this race up here either. Uh, it looks like he's gonna get it anyway. I'm no longer the lucky dog, and that's a position. I'm not, I mean, I'm annoyed with myself, but, well, that I'm more annoyed with. As this race went on, I went from running a clean, smooth race in the top four to just falling apart. I don't know if it's just I can't concentrate for this long of a race, or that guy's not racing me for position, so I'm just going to let him by. Clear. I have like a death grip on the steering wheel. Keep it out of the freaking wall. I do have another position behind me that I can lose. I'm loose right now. Like, too loose.
two to go. That lap time was 31.4. Well, at this point, I don't want to see no cautions. I'm not the lucky dog, and I just want to get out of here at this point. Outside. I wasn't trying to like, go defensive on this guy. It's just where the car drove, and I didn't want to uh, be unpredictable. Still there. Still outside. Trying to let him have it. I doubt he can get up there and get a position, but no, I can't get no guys. I did myself a disservice. I always come out of these races with, uh, I want to try to keep this, at least keep unlucky 13, right? But don't spin out trying to keep it because I can't seem to get through the turns without getting loose. Yeah, I should be able to keep it. Good job, Ward. Good job on that turn. Wow, that was good. Never mind. A good win there, Adam. Good job, boy. Great race. Um, so I need to practice green stops. There's no reason not to. Two, I just need to not. I knew that was gonna cause me a problem. Like I would have been okay, maybe if it went green, but those guys might have been able to make it. I don't know. I was close. I'll take it on the pit. That boy, no problem. So I end up. 13th, pretty much dead middle. I was running the top four all day. But that's okay. My first race back after a big, long six-day break. And, yeah, I feel like it took a lot out of me. I'm a little wore out. And, yeah, I'm not going to look at the incidents. I, uh, sorry, had a cough there for a second. Um... I did get a 0x, so that's good. Um, really, when you look at people who were out of the race, though, I didn't beat very many people. But I know that was strategy and a bad pit, which is a part of it. So it, it, it all ends up being where you deserve it. I was running up higher than I finished, and that makes me feel a little better about it. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I don't know what my next video will be. It's just going to be as I feel like doing it now, and hopefully everyone is okay with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.